from the beginning of my freshman year to the end of my doctorate program, 17 years of continuous attendance. The real challenge is to take your social work practice and try and apply it in other arenas. Because I'm a Columbia University officer, it has enriched my ability to give back to the schools. Each of you has made an indelible impression on the Columbia community, and we thank you. Kitoshi Tanaka. Well, I consider Columbia part of my family. I grew up in Japan. I uh, lived uh, on Riverside Drive, a little further up, and I knew my parents couldn't afford five years. So I was very lucky that they started the four-year program. During my high school years, I started playing judo. So we said, let's form a judo club. And I actually won the lightweight championship three years in a row. I got a job at the Singer Company. Fortunately, they had tuition reimbursement program. I was taking two courses a semester, so that's why it took me 11 years to do my doctorate degree. Professor Freudenstein was a world-renowned kinematician. Kinematics is a study of mechanisms. So he became my mentor, and uh, I think he really gave me a sense of how to be a good person. Professor Freudenstein introduced me to Dr. Buxman. Dr. Buxman and myself worked together for 38 years. And during that time, uh, we persuaded the company to donate several CNC milling machines, which are today still used by mechanical engineering students. We became very close to the mechanical engineering lab, which is right here. When they started the senior project, they invited outside people to come in to judge the projects. It's uh, one of the more enjoyable tasks to judge these uh, projects at the end of the semester. When I was in school, we had each department separate. It was like silo. But now it's very different. And I can see that the connection between, for example, mechanical engineering and bioengineering. Uh, between mechanical engineering with material science. The C's class of 2017. Seize the world! The newer engineers are so better equipped, I feel, better equipped than I was graduating. I think they will do something great, and I'm looking forward to those days. Emily Ball Jabour. I knew I wanted to come to Columbia for the social policy focus of the program. Being part of the first class to be in the new building was really exciting. It felt like you were kind of valued in, in this campus in a way, that you had this brand new building and you had these incredible new resources. I was in the law minor program and Jane Waldfogel, who is an, an internationally known policy figure, she was actually looking for a research assistant to help with some legal research. So I happened to, you know, get selected for that and ended up working with her and doing research for her for the rest of my time here. And that really set a course for my interests and helped me solidify my interest in research and, and look at how policies impacted clinical practice. I also really loved working with Dean, at the time, Dean Jeanette Takamura. She had actually been a political appointee in the Clinton administration, so she really understood what it meant to be a social worker in policy making in Washington. At graduation, I received uh, an award that's given to one social work student across all of the social work programs in New York City. This award is recognition for my advocacy work in child welfare policy. Being here and the experience of having a cohort of people who are all very passionate about what they were doing was incredibly inspirational. It's part of the reason I've stayed so involved with the alumni community. Every year the School of Social Work has an alumni conference and the concept of it was the idea of going back to school for a day and the school's place and position in the context of things happening kind of in a larger societal way. I really liked putting together Leaders Weekend. The CAA was really interesting to me because I think there was a lot for me to learn about the larger university community, but I could also then bring a sense of perspective from the social work school. How are you? This is my dad. The problem that I think I'm taking on in, in sort of my career and what I'm doing in the world is bringing social work voice into policy making. You know, it was very much crystallized by working with Jane Waldfogel, and I'm part of sort of her federal audience, which is really um, an incredible full circle <laughs> experience to see. <laughs> 
They are prepared to go and do social work at every level, helping individuals one at a time. The social workers tend to toil away kind of in the you know, in dark spaces it feels like, you know, kind of in an underappreciated profession. Um, so it feels nice, even if that recognition is something like an alumni medal, I think that's really important. <laughs> Kathleen Ann Crowley, Mailman School of Public Health. And I've taken a lot of pride being a part of Columbia University and the Medical Center um, and really growing my career here. I was working at the hospital and decided to go back to graduate school to get my master's in public health, which opened up my eyes about population health and that taking care of each individual patient really became the sum of looking at populations at large. And it was a game changer for me. For my doctorate in public health, my thesis is on barriers and facilitators to taking vaccination during a pandemic. Being a clinician, and a hospital administrator, had the opportunity to develop health and safety programs at Columbia University beginning at the Medical Center, and which has subsequently expanded to include all of Columbia's campuses, including Morningside and our newest Manhattanville. And it is such an opportunity to be able to blend working here, being an alumni here. I joined the alumni board, and I was a doctoral student, and I was an officer of the university at the same time. And when I was asked by Dean Freed to give consideration to become the president of the alumni board, I was that what an honor. We had a symposium in the fall of the Ebola crisis. Let's bring some of the best engineering minds together with some of the best public health professionals and how can we together look to address the Ebola crisis. We're co-chairing a women's conference that's going to be held in February of 2018. Women don't believe that they can do it. And we have to help women believe that they can do it. Science, knowledge, evidence, and health are public goods. I felt like I was receiving the Nobel Prize. And to have my family be present with me when I received that, I, I still pinch myself. <laughs>